Welcome back. Take your shoes off. Relax, man. Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, you know. But look, we got these videos that is just freaking the internet out right now, you know. So y'all already know how we do, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button and just know if you're going through a tough time, we're going through this thing called life together. You're never in it by, your, by yourself, you know what I'm saying? So share these videos to your friends and family. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we can keep sharing these good vibes, man. Good vibes only. Let's get it. There are some really strange things that can happen to us during our lives, and we usually forget about these things. <laughs> strange noise that you heard at night hey, good. that you <laughs> thought you shouldn't have heard. I would have went home, yeah. That you meet at the supermarket that you're pretty sure you've met before. But it doesn't matter how much you make an effort, you can't remember where you met this person from. It's those things that makes us wonder what the heck is really going on here. Well, there's one video that can be found on YouTube, and it was posted by Randy Palacios. In Guatemala, on September 15th, Usually schools parade around the city to celebrate their Independence Day and in one particular celebration, something really strange happened. Randy Palacios was able to capture it on camera. At first, it looks like a very normal parade. The band is playing the music, the people are there cheering for their country, and well, it's a really beautiful event. However, if you really pay attention, there's something strange about it. The man to the right inside the hallway wearing a blue jacket seems to disappear completely out of thin air. And it's not just you, me, and everybody else that was watching this video that noticed this. You can see a man and his family become perplexed, looking for this man. Where did he go? What happened to him? He simply vanished. Now, after watching this video over and over, I can't seem to understand what exactly is going on here. A glitch in the matrix or something else? Have you ever seen anything like this in your lifetime? And what do you think happened here? Now, I've been on airplanes quite a few times and it's usually a comfortable ride. However, sometimes strange and bizarre things can occur in the air. However, most people are sleeping when such things happen and when they wake up, they usually don't notice that there was something wrong. But things are a bit different That's in this crazy. next video that we're about to watch. is able to capture the exact moment an object or maybe something else hits his airplane cabin. Some people are saying that this is just lightning that was captured on camera and others are saying that this might actually be something else. What is your take? When I'm on vacation, I enjoy going to the beach with my friends and family and you know just enjoying my time watching the sunset, the ocean tides changing and well it's everything else. I don't know exactly what it is about the beach and the shoreline. It's just very relaxing. The thing is, sometimes strange things can occur at the beach and when they do, it's very strange. On one bright morning, a bizarre looking creature washed ashore in the Philippines. And as you can imagine, people were baffled by it. To this day, there is absolutely no explanation to what this creature was or is. And the thing is, there are quite a few theories about it. It could be a whale, it could be that, but you're not sure. Check this out. One thing's for sure, 
there is a lot that we don't know about the ocean. And if you've ever encountered such a creature, or if you have someone that you know that has seen something like this, please do share your thoughts in the comment section below. I don't know what that was. But it's not just the ocean that we know very little about. In Kalimantan, in Indonesia, a family was able to capture a very strange phenomena in a river close by to their home. This is what they captured on camera. There were quite a few people fishing in the river when all of a sudden something started to happen. They were able to capture it on camera, however at some point they started to wonder if they were supposed to be there at that moment. Check this out. Absolutely not. I can answer that. Absolutely not, nigga. Something huge was under that river and at first people thought it was some kind of gas emanating from the bottom of the river. However, if you really watch and pay attention, it seems like it's some sort of creature. This is when at the time most people that were fishing realized that they shouldn't be there. So they got the heck out of there as fast as possible. Oh yeah, yeah. A day later, the town mayor tweeted that people should stay away from that river for at least a couple of weeks until they found out exactly what it is that was going on there. Mm. To this day, there is no answer at all. I'm telling you, look, think about that, though. See, that's why I don't be like, oh, just because everybody else for centuries or years or whatever, how long you've been swimming in this lake, pond, whatever it is, don't mean that today is going to be the same as yesterday. Like, it could be a whole another creature in here today. You know how, like, sometimes gators swim and they be in weird places? You'll find one in sewers in New York or something like that. Somebody probably let that one go, though. No cap. But you get what I'm saying, though. They travel. So do bull sharks. They come to lakes. They can go from the ocean to lakes. Y'all better educate yourself. But look, I'm just saying. That's why I don't be really rocking with it like that. But yeah, let's, let's continue, though. That dirty-ass water. Look at that. Now this is not the only video where such event is captured on camera. In Brazil, a couple of friends were fishing when they saw something very similar. Check this out. Oh, that's wow. The, apparently, two friends were fishing, and I believe this could be the Amazon River, when they spotted ripples on the water surface. They tried fishing it out without any success. This is when they started thinking, what is it? Is it a huge creature or maybe something else? Now what's really strange about this video is that whatever this thing is, it seems to be traveling upstream. But it's very difficult to affirm exactly what is going on here. Gas emanating from the bottom of the river, an earthquake, a sinkhole, or maybe something else. Muito estranho, muito estranho. Ei, tá I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That looked like it's something in there. Mais estranho. Olha, vamos desligar a canoa agora e deixar voltar para trás porque não vamos continuar acompanhando não. The way it's traveling you. upstream in a straight line makes me think that this could be some sort of huge creature, and I believe that the two friends were very lucky that nothing happened to them. At some point, they felt that they should stop following it, and this is when the video ends. And I'm not too sure exactly what it is that they caught on camera. 
what do you think? I think that can be some type of uh, intelligent life right there because it didn't expose itself to the top and it didn't even uh, perceive them to be even a threat. You know, something that big right there, if it see something messing with it, following it, you know, sometimes I hit you with a fan or something, pull up on your ass, bite you real quick. But that's crazy, though. How many of y'all in the comments down below would have followed that even further? But you had the audacity to. There's one thing that I really enjoy doing, and I guess a lot of people Good video, do too. Though is going into the woods, camping, hiking, and trailing. However, when one goes into such adventure, it's very important to remember that strange things can occur in the woods. For instance, a couple of years ago, friends and family captured what appears to be a Bigfoot or an unidentified creature lurking just next to them in the woods. However, it was a bit different with James Tiberius Ranking. James Ranking says he was deep in the woods, in a forest in Long Island, when he spotted something out of a horror movie. This is what happened. Okay, um... We're deep, deep, deep in the woods, sort of, we're like on the border, cause like there's a side of the woods where there's people's houses, but I came to a trail that led to a trail that led to a trail up the hill and I came down this, and as you can see, probably can see, it's fucking locked, there's trees knocked over, blocking it and cut down so that it's hard to get down the hill. But I saw what looked like a fire pit and since I've already found one back the way I came, and it was just made by neighborhood kids, and when I was there, I met one of the kids that rides a dirt bike in here, and he was probably like in his 20s. I don't know if he was like a kid, but the point is, I thought this might be something similar. So I come down the f***ing hill. Now remember, we're still in the woods. We're still in the f***ing woods, right? Do you see the f***ing trees? And the white shit. I was like, okay, these are probably no trespassing signs, or maybe it's something for the for the wildlife or something. And look, look, we're we're bordered on all sides by hills. Anyone with any sense of strategy or tactics, let's uh, you know, being in the it's key terrain. center of a bunch of hills is tactically disadvantageous because people can hide on the tops and throw things or shoot at you. Anyway, I'll cut right to the chase because I might Look what these f are. That shit wild though. What the f is I've seen I think I've seen James a clip of this. Ranking makes an unnerving discovery strolling deep into the woods. You can see missing persons signs stamped all over the place. And there is a blanket on the floor and a cage-like structure made out of wood just next to it. But it doesn't stop there. This is what happens next. Let me just, uh... Look at that. These are, these are just the ones that I've gone in close up, close up. I did close up some. So far. Look at this. Look at this. Carolina Beach, North Carolina, 2009. You see that? The orange thing on the tree. It's a drop light. Oh. Or this. Holy sh! Just realized what I'm looking at. Is not doing it justice, but this bundle of sticks, they're lashed together. That's a that's a cage of some kind, or a hut, or a lean-to, or something. Wow. And over here in the middle of the fire pit, that's a shovel. About right in the middle, it's a hole. It's a filled-in hole, but it's a hole. I'm assuming that whatever this is or was. The eating people. This one. Stacy Peterson, 23 years old, missing from Illinois, 2007. Oh, I heard voices. We have to get the f out of here. 
Oh, voice is plural, yeah. That's a big operation Whatever then. Is this place that James Rankings stumble upon, it just doesn't feel right. So Ranking does what anyone would do and he calls the police. He even posted on Facebook this video and a description of what he thought was going on here. Now this is when things get even weirder. The police went over there and they talked to the owner of the private property just next to it and they said that this was set up for a Halloween party on October 2016. The thing is that James Ranking visited this place after Halloween and it just remained the same. Not only that, if you observe the missing person's signs that have been stamped on the trees, they don't look like they have been put there for Halloween. They look like they've been there for quite a while. So whoever set up this place, it clearly wasn't for Halloween. But the thing is, what is this place and what really happened here? After a couple of years, James Ranking posted another update on his Facebook page and, well, no new discoveries or information about it were made. What James Rankin did tell his subscribers and followers was that the owner of that private property now has no trespassing uh, signs on put up. In your opinion, what is really going on here? Now, if there's one thing... Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know it's a lot of weird stuff going on, all these cults and stuff like that, man. They're taking people down there and they're eating them. They're doing weird stuff to them. I ain't gonna get into all of that, man. And you got... Look... Y'all know what it is. Whatever. Protect y'all friends and y'all family. Make sure y'all strap. It is really fun to do is gathering with family and friends to talk about strange and mythical creatures. In a city called Warsaw in Poland, if you walk around, you'll find yourself surrounded by mermaid statues and things alike. It's something that you can't stop wondering about. What really happened in the distant past? The thing is, in 2015, a video was published, a video that went viral of what's supposed to be men in hazmat suits rescuing a strange creature out of the river. Check this out. This is the best uh, video I've seen of this though. I've seen this video before, but this one right here, the quality is way higher. Wow. That's clearly a mermaid, nigga. You feel me? Now the thing is, just weeks after the video was published, a person said that this was actually a part of a play, that there is a festival in Warsaw called New Versovians, and that this is just a part of that play. However, this was never proved 100%. No, it's not. There is no evidence that this video is actually a part of this festival. And to this day, it remains a mystery if this is indeed the real deal or if it's just a hoax. Alright, look. I put it like this. It could be a hoax, right? But, that see, that's how you know it's wrong. That's how you know they capping. Because this is not a part of a play. Because where's the audience at then? Where they watching from? Y'all just recording this play and they sitting in the theater watching it? No, absolutely not, nigga. We know the answer to that. So, like, we got to start asking these real questions. That's Cap. That's a merman, nigga. <laughs> or mer merwoman. I'll leave it up to you. Till further notice. <laughs> now, just imagine you're at your home with a friend watching television when you hear something strange creeping outside. Now, I've been through this situation and I know it's not a pleasant one. This is exactly what happened to Medi and a friend of hers when they were having a good time at Medi's house at night. They heard strange noises coming from downstairs so they decided to check it out. This is what Medi captured on camera. I saw, it. I saw it and I heard it. It was like a weird screech. I swear to God I saw something. What the hell is that? Is that? Oh my God, what is that? It was on the tree line. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, now I be my ass in the house what too. What the heck is that? Yeah, let's go outside. I don't know what that was. Peek around the corner real quick since you're so brave. After capturing a strange figure walking in the backyard, they decide to go back in. 
but then they hear something trying to get inside through the door. So oh, they once man. again go to check it out. This is what happened. Maggie? Maggie? Oh my god. Maggie? Who is this? Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is he out there? Do you see anything? No, I don't see anything. I'm not too sure if Maddie and her friend should have opened that door, and whatever this thing is, it seems to have disappeared out of thin air. It looked like it turned and walked away. The only place it could have gone is through this. What do you think happened here? In a place called it. Bear Creek, in North Carolina, you'll find the devil's tramping ground. They know who to do that type of stuff right there, too, man. Like, look, I, I bust you in the head when the ninja star. Y'all better stop playing with people. That's crazy. I got ninja stars for real. Stop playing. Which is a camping spot located in the forest near Harper's Crossroads area. It has been the subject of persistent <laughs> local oh, legends real. and lore, <laughs> which frequently allege that the devil tramps and haunts a barren circle of ground in which nothing is supposed to grow. Not only that, animals, creatures, do not get close to this place, and there are many people who try to sleep there without any success. Going down this trail right now. And I'm getting pretty spooked. In the last couple of decades, the Devil's Tramping Ground has become a popular place for people to go to, have a good time, sometimes try to capture paranormal activity, and well, according to experts, it has absolutely nothing paranormal to it. It's just a place where the ground has different pH levels and chemicals that makes it quite impossible for any vegetation, trees, and plants to grow there. However, there was one YouTuber, Kevin the Custodian Ghost Hunter YouTube channel, captured something quite chilling. And I guess he wasn't expecting to do so. This is what he caught on camera. And unfortunately, the last time I was here, they did not have the gates up here. And now they have posted private property. I guess I'm not going to be ghost hunting tonight. It took me about an hour to get here. Really bummed me and my daughter out. She's she's actually up there right now, somewhere. But um, I still walk up here and show you guys. Kevin and his daughter had been to the Devil's Tramping Ground quite a few times. It was a surprise for them when they got there and there was a no trespassing sign. In other words, they were not going to be able to spend the night. However, they did go into the property to take a look when this happened. But as you can see, there have been people here recently. Those solo cups, they don't look old. Yeah, there's a cooler right here in the woods. It still has a tag on it. Oh, it does? Yeah, on the... I wonder what's in the cooler, that's the question. You gotta get through all these briars first. Dang. Yeah, it's like brand new. Uh, nothing in it. Ever who was here before had to get out here in a hurry. Yeah. Is there anything in it? No. And it actually, it's still a little, like, it's been ice in it, so it looks pretty fresh. Kevin and his daughter come to the conclusion that a group of people spent the night there and they had to get out of there as fast as possible for some unknown reason. Maybe because the owner scared them away, or maybe something else. But then, this is when Kevin accidentally captures something chilling in the background. Ever who was here before had to get out here in a hurry. A strange white transparent yeah. figure can be seen lurking just behind his daughter in the woods. Something that Kevin didn't see at that moment. It was only after he posted this video that his subscribers started to comment. Look, Kevin, you captured something strange. Whatever it is that Kevin captured on camera, I can't say for sure if this is paranormal activity or something else. However, it doesn't look like a person, nor a creature, nor anything like I've ever seen right. before. 
Could this be real evidence that the devil's tramping ground is indeed haunted? Or is it something else? What do you think? Now, I don't know about you, but in my free time, I really enjoy stargazing, looking at the moon, sky in general. I really find it relaxing. And recently, a couple of videos have surfaced of people who were doing exactly that and captured an amazing but strange sight. This is what was captured on camera on December 2020, just above the Giza pyramids. Check this out. What is that over there? It looks like... Oh my god, what is that? What is that? It looks like flares. It's flares. That plane that went past has dropped flares, it looks like. Right, I'm not being funny, but that is not a plane. No, there was a plane that went past and it was flashing. No. Oh, it's, it's parachute. What is it? What's that on? Is it not parachutes? That's why. It's gone out. It's gone out. It's coming down. What is it? Oh, what well, that's going down fast now, isn't it? At first, the group of people who captured this amazing event thought it might be some sort of parachute or flares. But things were about to change. This is what happens next. It's not moved. Oh yeah, it's going down. Oh yeah, that's a pyramid, baby. It is a triangle. It is a triangle. Yeah. That is a diamond. It is a diamond, isn't it? What's that one there? That one's coming down too. And there's lots of little ones around it. They back y'all, oh, I'm that telling you. Diamond? I don't know. Can you get that? They been here too. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is it? What's that above it? What Something else is there. That it? just moved to the left really quickly, didn't it? This is real thing, right? Didn't that just move then? Yeah. Like fast. What is going on? Oh, look. <gasps> what the f is that? I feel like it's looking at us. Why is it staring at us? By now, they're pretty sure that it isn't flares nor parachutes. It's something else. And one of them mentions that it looks like a diamond shaped object. But things are about to get even weirder. Check this out. What's that oh, thing oh, following? Yeah, no damn well ain't no flares. No, the parachutes. Nothing like that. Look. The parachutes with what on them though? Flare things. Why? No. So they look like aliens. <laughs> Is it people on them? I feel like they're actual. That one looks like it's. Uh huh. What? What? The f that one diamond shaped object becomes many other objects. The thing is, it's not falling like a parachute, it's not falling like flares. They're actually moving independently and each one of them at a different speed. So that does not look like our average parachute or air show. No, absolutely it's not. It's something completely different. Look, it's coming directly on the triangle. Mm -hmm. On the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> the three great triangles. <laughs> In your opinion, what could it be? And have you ever seen anything like this before? Yeah. Now it doesn't have to be strange objects when you're looking up at the sky. It could be something else like localized rain that doesn't make much sense. And this is exactly what happened in Italy a couple of years ago. When a group of people noticed that there was something wrong with the rain that was falling just next to them. Check this out. A couple of friends were strolling around the city when they noticed that there was rain falling in the middle of the street. But it wasn't just them. The entire block stopped to watch this strange phenomenon. The thing is, even the police were baffled by it. Check this out. Yes, yes. 
Uh, assurdo eh, non capiscono loro non capiscono mi voglio bagnare in quella via ti prego voglio un ombrello andiamoci voglio un ombrello e se è già ce l'ho oh guarda qua boh <laughs> Yo, so look, man, what do y'all think that can possibly be? I mean, it ain't too many other things that, that 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 it could be. You feel me? So we know they back. They've been back for a while. We've been saying this for a while. We know where we come from. More people are waking up from, you know, to where we are actually from. You know, it's, it's different people that inhabit this planet that are from different solar systems, man. But look, it is what it is. Think I'm crazy if you want to. More disclosures are going to be, be coming from a lot of your favorite uh, resources is the same people that, you know, uh, manipulate what you currently see in general. You know, they're the people that are in control. I'm talking about the, the networks, the one that follow the script from the ones that are higher up, you know ones behind the scenes pulling the strings y'all gonna get more disclosure because a lot of things can't be hidden anymore you know a lot of things cannot be hidden anymore these things are happening more and more frequently and people know that they can talk freely about these things now without sounding crazy because everybody's starting to see them but look man hopefully y'all got something from this video right here it's a lot of strange things that happen with this planet it's only strange because we're not out here doing the work and out here discovering for ourselves and out here you know we're just depending on people that will continuously lie to you and lie to you and lie to you when you can have your own independent research and figure out the world for yourself through your own lenses but look man i implore y'all to go out here man and do your own research man take care of yourselves and your families and like i always say spread love because there's too much hate in this world love you guys i'll see you on the next video and i'm out though bye